G'day guys and welcome back. In this episode, we leave Canamble and find ourselves at yet another farm stay where me and mum have the time of our lives. Before finding ourselves back in Queensland, raiding some more country bakeries. So don't forget to sit back, relax, subscribe and enjoy the adventure. All right, so welcome back to another video. Look at this, hey, look at that. <laughs> I've got our stuff on. Um, so obviously we left Canamble this morning. Um, another sad goodbye. Yeah. But this time, it, I don't know how long for. It could be a while this time. Yeah, who knows? Who knows? <laughs> um, but we headed north to Lightning Ridge. Um, on the way here, we sort of just had a quick stop over and have a look at the club in the scrub. Club in the scrub. And there was a couple of other a things. A couple of other little things we sort of we stopped in and had a squeeze at. Um, we didn't do any filming on the way here. We, I know we should have, but we didn't. <laughs> but we've currently pulled up at... Corinna? Um, Corinna Station Farmstead. Um, it's 30 bucks a night, unpowered. Yeah. Um, it's just a huge, big open area. Basically, just like Nakadu sort of deal, you just park wherever you want. Um, yeah. They do have power here. Yeah, power and water hookups. I don't know how much power and water ones are, do you? Uh, I don't actually know, sorry. I didn't look didn't into Didn't check it. that. But um, I'll put it down here. Yeah. But they, yeah, they have water taps so you can fill your tanks and that sort of stuff. and. Em's already over the moon because there's animals just free roaming. Can I say one of the animals? What? We have free roaming goats. We have a goat, goat under there. There's a goat to sleep under our carriage. Asleep under there, there's a goat. And there's heaps of um, goats. And we had a sheep just here before that uh, Em was yeah. cutting. Insert, insert photos. photos. <laughs> um, but we're just about to go for a walk around oh. and have a look and see what animals are about. She said yeah. don't feed the pigs, so I assume they got pigs. I assume there's pigs, but you... And throw your scraps in for the chickens. Yeah. Well, how many chickens? Um, she said 500. 500 chooks. 500 so Isabel's chickens. over the moon about that. That's insane, right? Yeah. So anyway, we'll go down and look at all. There's also a um, ba baby animal nursery. Yeah, baby animal nursery. That you so are welcome to go into. We'll go and have a squeeze at all of that. Um, and I'll just make a quick mention now before we forget it. They have drop toilets with BYO toilet paper and water tap out the front that you can yeah. fill up at. Yeah. But we'll go for a walk. Talk about in their prime, right? You think it's I tell you, I've never seen so many bloody chooks. There's <laughs> chooks everywhere. This is all more chooks here. There's just chooks everywhere. But that little chook is adorable. Mm, the other one in here, that one. Yeah, that one. That little yellow thing.
Well, they said they had pigs, right? <laughs> That's like the pigs in the show. Did you say there's more over there? There's three. Over there. that way, but I don't think the camera will see them. So, our little farm tour got cut to it short yesterday because it bloody started raining. Um, yeah. But yeah, no, it was a good little farm stay. Um, for what it was, I think it was missing a bit of the farm vibe. Yeah. Like they didn't I have just, horses. They didn't yeah. have horses there. There was some, yeah, something missing. I don't know. But it was a, definitely a great little place. Better than staying in the van park, that's for sure. Um, for sure. Like, the aspect of the free roaming goats and the sheep. Yeah. It was very, you know. I feel very touristy. It, it was a little tourist. Well, I think if you sure. like, if you're a city person that's never seen anything, then it might um, be awesome. It would be amazing. But, I thought it was great though. Yesterday afternoon, um, there was a few thunderstorms rolling down. The owner herself gave everyone in the park yeah, like a, a bit call. of a heads up. Yeah, just to say, please be aware of it if you weren't already. I thought yeah. that was great. But we head off this morning. Um, we were going to do one of the things in Lightning Ridge, but due to failure to research, we didn't realise that you have to pre-book. Um, a lot yeah. of the stuff there. So, um, so we will be coming back through the ridge at some point. So. Um, for sure. There's only so, so many parts. So we couldn't deem. We're in a, a sort of a bit of a rush to get to Swarmbo. We've got uh, some parcels yeah. and that waiting there. Yeah. Um, but so yeah, we'll do that next time. But we head off this morning. We've just crossed the Queensland border, <laughs> as you would have just seen. We are four kilometres into Queensland. Um, <laughs> we're currently in Hebel. Yeah. Um, they got an old pub here, we might check that out. But oh, as we right. just pulled up, there's a sign <laughs> in front of the old store over there that says homemade pies. And well, we all know what that means, right? <laughs> you know, that's definitely grabbed Ray's attention. It's definitely, been a long time since we've... Definitely means uh, pie time. I haven't had a pie. It would have been since the New England, like over where, like yeah. somewhere over there. But anyway, yeah. we'll go try a pie. I take the, cat, the Jeep is driving. Um, yeah, wow. right. I'll tell you what, I think the bushes have been stuffed for a long time. I think so too. There's less noise um, and it's so much smoother. Like Ooh, the, the springs like are this. actually <laughs> really working well. Like it's so much softer in the front. Oh, well, And there's, nice there's been a couple of bad rattles in the front that I've been trying to find and now they're all gone. So I think it was the bushes were that worn, the bushes were slapping on the spring. Yeah, I think so. But it drives amazing now. Like it's a completely different car. And now yeah, that we're back on 98, right. fuel that is. It's oh. the motor's running considerably different as well. But I'm gonna get a pie. So we got a pint, uh, huge, yeah, big and they got the classic good flavours of plain cheese and bacon, pepper. Yeah. But nice good pie. But I'm gonna dig in. M doesn't know because they're so big. We might have to get one for later. But I'm gonna dig in and see what's mine. I'll let you know. All right, pie done. <laughs> you catch that in the background? I just like. 
like stood on a rat. rock and like <laughs> fell off the rock, drunk from that candy it was, coke. <laughs> it was definitely a homemade pie, don't get me wrong. Yeah. Very chunky, um, but just sort of lacked in a lot of flavour, eh? Um, it tasted yeah. like they just threw heaps of beef and beef stock into a pot and then put that in pie. Yeah, it was... Um, I don't regret getting it, I probably would get another one passing through. But it just wasn't very flavour. It was a cheese and bacon and it wasn't very cheese and bacon-y. But, how much were they? Um, I'm going to say seven fifty. Ooh, okay. But we'll, um, we'll go, we'll go for a walk over and have a look at the pub. Uh, the old Hebel pub, it's like a bit of a focal point thing. Yeah. Point of I interest. Am. Little playground here. But we'll, um, we'll go check out the playground and then we'll go to the we pub. Nice little playground right on the highway here. Oh, look at this little kid on the swing, right? <laughs> Back. What was the name of where we're going? Deer and Bandy. Deer and Bandy, that's where we're going. See, I was I was close in a nowhere near kind of way. Hey, um, we've either but, got to um, speed up and get across the road. Uh, Face death here in Hebel. Alright, where's the pub? old pub in there. Going this way. <laughs> I love the, um, it's a lot of pubs are starting to do it now, like people's merch and that up in the roofs. It looks awesome. Well, this is a bit cold. Look at that. Yeah. That's pretty nice. Yeah, I love a bit of yard art like that. The best part is it's curved. Yeah, oh, used to talk about our ginger ale. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we love our ginger ale, and it's hard to get Kirk's from shops. Who's always got Schweppes? Yeah, Schweppes in that tall glass bottle. Yeah. So we're just about to leave and I just thought I'd bring up that we did film a bit driving around like we took a bit of a lap around Lightning Ridge and we did film a bit of it. But I'll take the blame. <clears throat> I did the old, I didn't realise I'd hit bump record on the camera so when I wasn't meant to be recording it was and then when I wanted to record and I hit the button it stopped recording so we just basically ended up with heaps of footage of the floor of the Jeep and legs and and all that sort of stuff, so my bad. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we'll head on. That is a nice little town. Um, cute, isn't it? Yeah, a little like, caravan park here out the back. The pub's beautiful, like it's just, you know, just real nice out back town sort of thing, a nice vibe to it, people nice. Yeah. But back on the road, another 60 Ks. Yeah. We'll pull up.
All right, so we just pulled up in Deer and Bandy. It's actually really good. The water point and dump point and everything is literally as you come into town. It's right on the highway. It's good. But Em says we're staying here the night, and now I don't even know where she's gone. There she is. Look at that. <laughs> Bing. I was going that way looking for you. I just got carried. What is that? On a dam or a creek or a um, bush? A river. On a river. Well, they're probably dry. It is probably dry. I tell you what, this ah, new media mod. Look at well, that's what it does. Oh my goodness. This new media mod and fluffy cat, I think they call them. We're definitely testing it out. It is so windy. All this footage may be rubbish. Um, but yeah, because it is so it's windy. It's so windy. We just don't know what it's like yet. Yeah. But I'll let you do the dunny box and I'll fill up with you water. Can do the water. Where's the water? All right, so we pulled up at Beer and Dandy. Deer and Dandy. Oh, Deer and Bandy. I cannot get it right, guys. I've been getting it wrong all day. All day. But we pulled up here just after lunch. Um, we went and had a quick drive through town just to see if we wanted to have a look around tomorrow. Um, but we've come out to, it's like a riverside camp. Uh, do you remember the name of it? I think it's the Balone Campground. But I'll Balone put Campground. A, it's like literally right insert. on the river, like van and then river. river. Like it is nice. awesome. There's been fish jumping and that sort of stuff. So I'd say if you're yeah. into fishing, you throw some Probably pots in and catch some fish. fish. Throw your pots in for yabbies and catch fish. fish. <laughs> Got that a bit asked about. But um, hey, we are going to unhook in the morning and go in because Em read some raving reviews about the bakery. So uh, yeah, so I mean. We've got to go check it out. We've got to risk the biscuit. Yeah, you can't you can't eat all the pies and then go past pies. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, and I mean, we haven't done pies for a little while. So. Yeah, there hasn't been many in the... Um, we got no. a few on the New England and that. But um, I've cooled off a bit now. I'll tell you what, when I know, we pulled up... the breeze just got me. When we pulled up here, I just straight out of my jeans. Like it was, I know it was only 26 degrees. 26 with 25%. But, I don't know, from being down, like, down south in the cold and now <laughs> suddenly getting back into the heat, it's friggin' a bit of a shock to the system, that's for damn sure. I'd like to just stress, he had other pants on. Yeah, yeah, I'll put shorts back on. Straight out of your jeans. <laughs> back into, into shorts. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is an awesome little spot. Like, yeah, it's beautiful out here. But yeah, yeah. I, I would actually probably say if you are going to come out here, definitely get in not too yeah, late. Yeah, get in, in early. Day. Like we got here just like so just um, after lunch, and, and it there was, was pretty minimal full. spot. So there's been actually quite a few there is, roll in and like, back out. When you're coming into it, if you turn right into where we are, you can turn left and go down the other side. But it's it's sort of wow. one night of stuff because there's no sun at all. Yeah, and but if you, you are right down on the bank. If you've got a big setup, you, yeah, it's no probably room. not very friendly down there for you. But so. if you don't need sun and you got a small little setup, it's really nice yeah, down the other side. Yeah, but yeah. this is still lovely and like yeah, the benefit with the the heat at the minute you do catch the breeze up here as opposed yeah. to and we are because we're stopping here for two days because we got this <coughs> video to edit so <laughs> there's good signal here good sun so uh, yeah what and can sit there and just stop? edit 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 doesn't have to and um, we've got lots of birds to listen yeah. to and the the river so it's nice it is nice but oh, we'll right. go in and have a chill for the afternoon and can oh. get into editing yeah it's Almost tea time. Almost dinner time? Yeah. And then we'll so go in for pie, later. maybe breakfast, morning, tea, maybe brekkie. Brekkie? Or if we go a little bit later, we could just make it like a breakfast, morning, tea. You know what I mean? Yeah, we, we could go do in that, at like yeah. 8, 9 o'clock. Right, we'll go in for morning tea. Breakfast, morning, tea. Right. <laughs>
right, so bakery done. We are chockers, which meant we kept going back, <laughs> which meant it's awesome. Yeah. So, yeah, definitely above average if you're going through here. The pie was, I had no real complaints with the curry pie, like other than the fact it's advertised as a steak pie, but it was actually minced meat. But the pastry was good, flavor good, texture was thick. It was really good. And I got the pasty as well, um, same thing. It was just a bit mushy inside. Other than that, the flavor was good, pastry was good. So I got no real complaints. What was your pie? It was lacking a bit, wasn't it? Um, yeah, it was still a really nice pie. Like I wouldn't bat an eyelid at it too much, but um, it just sort of, it was a cheese and bacon pie and you just couldn't like, in every bite, you just couldn't say, it was cheese the cheese and bacon, and bacon pie. pie. Yeah, it was just a bit As a plain pie, it was really good. Yeah, if it was a plain pie, exceptional, like, yeah. exceptional. But, um, um sweets. <laughs> uh, we shared a lamington and I had a vanilla slice. The vanilla slice was all right. I mean, the lamington was amazing. Yeah, the lamington was just beautiful. It was awesome. Isabel got a hedgehog slice, but it turned out it was chopped mint, mint. so she didn't have that, but I did because I love chopped mint. <laughs> I got a better sweet. And it was amazing. So she got another savoury thing for sweets. She yeah. reckons the sausage, sausage rolls, rolls were amazing. Um, I had a bite. And bacon sausage rolls. I had a bite of it and it was good. It wasn't quite as good as like Watson's, which is our best yet. Oh, yeah. But um, it was definitely good. She loved it. Um, all around though, great yeah. spot if you are past. They got that bigger selection in there and it's oh. proper bakery. They do bread rolls and bread and all that yeah. sort of stuff as well. And the sweets, like everything looked amazing. Like everything was inviting. Yeah, like... it was awesome. Yeah. So definitely call in if you're going through. It's just literally called Deer and Bandy, Deer and Bandy Bakery. bakery so. You can't miss it. It's on the highway as yeah. you have to pass Heaps of parking, town. like you can see. Oh yeah, and this it's wide. This is all parking up here, so heaps of caravan parking. It's super wide parking too. The parking lane is wider than the actual road. Yeah, but we're just going to walk around town. It's just a main street town, so we're going for a lap. And we'll call into the, the IGA the and get works. food works. And I just heard someone wanting to go to the playground. <laughs> we'll, go, we'll take this little kid to the playground. <laughs> Does the little kid want to go to the playground? Yeah, he's Bloody hell. Guess what guys, it still works. Amber's not impressed, are you? No, not really. I got it working. It's still actually chain all the winch mechanism, everything's still working on it. Anyway, I better go so I don't get in trouble on <laughs> film. <laughs> but um, yeah, so we're gonna end this one here. Um, I know it was only short, so we just wanted to do something, something just a bit of a quick test on the new camera. Um, testing sound quality and, and film quality and all that sort of stuff because we've got no idea what it's like. We don't want to do a full big episode and then it all go to rubbish because yeah. as it was, I sort of buggered up a bit of footage with the new. <laughs> Just getting used to the Yeah, camera. we got a new stick, but it's a round stick and I can't judge which way the camera was facing. So a lot of the footage that we filmed had to go in the bin because the camera wasn't facing us properly. Yeah. But he and all there, we got what we got and we'll see how it goes so hope you still enjoyed it 
But don't forget to like the video if you liked it, subscribe to the channel, do all that good stuff. Don't forget to don't forget to get your order in for some merch if you want some. But um yeah. I guess that's it. That's it for now. Yeah, we'll see you next Saturday on the road to Toowoomba and maybe some stuff around Toowoomba. <laughs> see? Bug it up again. <laughs> Ah, uh, this will take some getting used to anyway. <laughs>